Hey guys, my name is Zach. Today we're taking a look at the NECA Homelander and Starlight from the new The Boys Ultimate line. Honestly, these figures are insane for the price point. I, I'm super impressed. And honestly, I really suck at reviews, so I won't spend uh, too much of your time showing these figures off. Uh, but taking a look at Homelander, the cape is really nice. The painting, the sculpting, the detail is really good. Uh, the portraits are not my favorite. Uh, but honestly, I can overlook those with just how, how amazing everything else is. Uh, taking a look at Homelander's articulation, it is pretty decent. You get the uh, up and down at the ankles. You do get a little bit of an um, uh, ankle rocker there. Double joint at the knees gets you uh, basically as far as you need to go. Uh, you do also get a swivel at the hips. Legs go up 90 degrees. And then back maybe 15 degrees, not super great on the back. Uh, and then split, you're not definitely not getting the full Nelson, but it is pretty decent. Uh, as far as the upper body goes, uh, the arms do go up and down, though the uh, cape does get caught there on the eagle. Double jointed uh, elbows, and you do also have an elbow hinge. Uh, you can see that's what I'm talking about, the cape getting caught. Uh, the wrists do also have a hinge on them. The head goes up and down. It's on a ball joint. Plenty of articulation there. Love to see that. And then the uh, whole upper torso is on a ball joint. Gets you some good articulation. I definitely think the figure could have benefited from a little bit of a cut in the upper torso, uh, but it does not have that. The hands are easy to swap. You just take the gloves, and you do get a second set of fisted hands. So you get gesture and fists. And I think for Homelander, I, I think that's okay. I would have liked something to hold maybe a milk bottle and a milk bottle. Uh, but honestly, I think this looks really good. Look at the uh, sculpt work and the paint work here. It's really, really nice stuff. The suit is textured uh, to perfection. Plenty of really nice gold paint on there, especially on the collar and then especially right there on the gloves, like on the uh, the wrist portion. Uh, I don't know if they're using like a decal or something to get that, that fine print, but uh, it looks remarkable. Very little slop on the gold on the eagles, just a tiny bit there on the right. Uh, but you can see there the portrait is painted very well. It's definitely not bad. Uh, you do also get a second portrait. It's just a little bit more serious other than a smirk. Uh, very minor difference between the first and the second. Uh, the big difference comes in the third. You can see you add a little bit of red effect and the irises are missing from the eyeballs. And the reason for that is because you get an included effect piece, which when you put it into the sculpt, uh, gives you the laser eye effect, and I think it looks really good in person. It looks far better in person than it does on camera, uh, but this definitely does look really good. Speaking of sculpting, I just want to show those gloves again. I really like the way they're painted with that nice red with the dark brown or black wash uh, and the, uh, the uh, upper surface there of the wrist, uh, and then there's a look at one of the gesture hands. So definitely definitely a pretty pretty well sculpted and painted figure in my opinion. The only complaint I will say is the neck sculpt is a bit glossy, though you really don't see that with the figure uh, with the head on. Here's a size comparison between the Marvel Legends Miles Morales and the figure arts Saiyan race on Earth Goku. You can see Homelander towers above them, which is to be expected, being that he is the NECA, like, it's not really 12th scale, but it's like 11th scale figure. Uh, and here he is with his wave mate Starlight. And uh, I have to go back and check, but she seems to be a bit tall compared to Homelander. I know the actor that plays Homelander isn't super tall, but it seems it seems like she was a bit taller than I was expecting. The painting and sculpting on Starlight is fantastic. The cape has this really nice gold uh, effect on it on the edges, and then also stamped throughout the cape. Uh, it's really nice. It has a nice little metallic sheen to it. And then looking at the figure here, these stars that are sculpted, uh, you can see there the cape with that gold that I was talking about. And just all the metallic gold is just really painted really crisply, and it really has a nice sheen to it. Uh, taking a look at Starlight's articulation, you do get the uh, same ankle joint as Homelander. You also get those double jointed knees. Gets you pretty far there. Uh, you also get a swivel at the uh, thigh, and the legs are kind of hindered a bit by the skirt going out. Uh, same with the arms, just the way that the cape tucks in there in the back, you don't get a full, you know, T-pose out of her. Uh, you get a tiniest little wrist joint and double elbow joints, uh, and the body does go up and down at the waist, so I would watch out for paint rub there. The neck is not super articulated compared to Homelander, uh, but it does get the job done, and you do get an alternate portrait uh, for her uh, soups power effect. Not a 
huge fan of this effect. It doesn't really sell as much as the Homelander uh, eye beams, but it's definitely not bad. Swapping the gauntlets are easy. Initially, I thought this was so that you didn't damage the hands, uh, though they are totally different gauntlets. I know my co-host Eddie was saying it's for the second outfit that she wears in the series. Uh, and then also the hands do come off, so I think it's an interesting choice that they give you two different gauntlets. I'm not sure what the reasoning behind that is. Here she is compared to the Miles Morales and Sam Raiders and Earth Goku. You can see obviously she towers above both of these figures. And uh, yeah, I, I honestly wasn't going to get this figure, but seeing it on the shelf, it really convinced me. These are great figures. You can get them for 30 bucks each. Uh, they're hitting Walmarts now for Father's Day. And uh, I, I can't say enough good things about these. So, um, you know, if you can find them, I think they're well worth $30. Um, I would definitely not pay scalper prices because they are just starting to hit. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick review, and I'll catch you on the next episode of Collecting Weekly.